Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach talking through one layer of scarf right now. And I've uh, been waiting to make this video for a while, since before lunch. And uh, the new, then some more news came out, so I was glad I waited a little bit. So anyway, Dan Slot just got officially um, announced for leaving Amazing Spider-Man at 800. And he's going to then immediately take up Iron Man. Now, it's not entirely sure if it's going to be Tony Stark and Riri Williams book together or just Tony Stark but it was uh, met with generally good um, reaction I'm kind of yeah I'm not loving it or hating it honestly they, they just signed uh, Kelly Thompson to an exclusive deal and I would rather see Kelly Thompson on Iron Man than Dan Slott I just feel like he's already done it like four years ago he had Peter Parker become a smarmy, you know, uh, tech billionaire, and uh, he kind of, you know, ran that whole story into the ground. He literally just finished it like two months ago. So now he's going to get another smarmy tech uh, millionaire. And quite frankly, Dan Slott is not a ladies' man. <laughs> like, you need someone who has some experience with the opposite sex to write uh, Tony Stark. So, but anyway, uh, the big thing that I wanted to get into, and. Uh, I've actually seen several, um, you know, known authors like Greg Pak and Dan Slott, and a lot of like, I don't know what you call these. What do you call those people? They're like SJWs on Twitter, and everyone's kind of heard of them, but they don't really do anything. I don't know. So the big recent thing is, um, and I think it kind of happened after all those SJW books were canceled. They started really, really pumping up pre-orders, pre-orders, pre-orders. Get to your store and do pre-orders. And I'm gonna say. Hell no. I am not pre-ordering a goddamn thing. Um, and here's why. You guys out there that are asking for pre-orders. Number one, Dan Slott's asking for people to pre-order his books. Meanwhile, he's blocking every single person who follows me. He's b blocking 10,000 potential customers. I got a much more viable solution than doing something that not that many people do. I mean, pre-orders is essentially a pull list. It's kind of basically the same thing. Um, but uh, <laughs> I got something, yeah, a lot easier. It's a lot easier to do than trying to change the entire industry and how people, people like to go to the store. They like to flip through things. I, me, I got OCD. I always pick like the eighth book back. I don't want the one in the front because <laughs> plebs have been talk, uh, you know, um, taking it. I don't want the one in the back because, you know, the... Uh, Shelf can be a little dirty, so I like to flip through them. I like to look at, you know, walk all around, change my mind. But um, if you think I'm going to pre-order something for a book that's going to come out in three months, and then two months from now you're going to call me a Nazi and block me, <laughs> and then wh what am I supposed to do? Now, if you want to, uh, what do you call it? Underwrite? Yeah. If you want to underwrite this new push for pre-ordering and you say as a creator if I block you I'm gonna buy the books you pre-order <laughs> so if you want to make that type of uh, assumption but I'm um, honestly as uh, they're trying to rework the industry I think their idea is like well then it's gonna um, encourage books to not be canceled oh no no if you move to change the industry where it's focused around pre-ordering you're gonna have more books canceled because like I said, those abysmal numbers for like America the book, uh, you know, 8,000 or so, that's, that's nobody, that's not 8,000 people saying they're even mildly interested in it. That's just 2,000 comic stores saying, eh, no order four of them, you know, whatever. We gotta order something or they're gonna say we're bigots. Um, but if you were to get actual orders, actually gauge interest for a book like America, it would be I don't even think it would be a thousand in the entire country. And it would be none of these people bleeding about the book being uh, canceled. It would just be even more uh, destructive to the uh, purse puppy uh, fake diversity uh, books. And uh, honestly, the behavior of uh, these uh, writers, pff, hell no. I wouldn't pre-order that if I was pre-ordering it for tomorrow because at 2 a.m. they'd say I support ISIS. <laughs> 
and then block me then like a fake an email that's like these people are nuts they need to calm the hell down you know what i'll reconsider the whole pre-ordering thing if we can get through a whole year without any major authors calling any customers nazis or biggest or racist <laughs> and uh, then we can talk so let's check back in 2020 on that one but anyway this is a quick little video you can be doing a bunch of comic reviews and live streams um, uh, all throughout the weekend, um, packing and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks everyone. Give us a super chat on the Patreon. You're funding original content. And I'll have lots more videos up later tonight. Thanks. Bye.